We are gathered here this day as God's people in the midst of one of God's blessed and most beautiful gardens to celebrate the gift of God's love. We love because God first loved us. On behalf of Nick and Debbie, I thank you, the family and friends who love them so dearly, for joining us on the most blessed day as they exchange their vows, their rings, and their promises that bind themselves to one another as husband and wife. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Let us pray. May Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, always be at the center of the new lives you are now starting to build together, that you may know the ways of true love and kindness. May the Lord bless you both all the days of your lives and fill you with his joy. I invite you all to be seated. And now Dad will read Corinthians. Dad. Dad. Two of the most important things in a good marriage, love and trust. I'm going to paraphrase from 1 Corinthians. Love is patient, love is kind. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Of the many gifts we receive from the Lord, faith, hope, and love are the ones that remain. And the greatest of these is love. Because God is love. And he has communicated his love to us. He supersedes all gifts because it outlasts them all. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I ask you that question to put you at ease and invite you to relax. Same for the wedding party, your friends, and those gathered. Nick and Debbie, turn around and soak it all in. Enjoy your surrounded by love. You are amazing on your own, but you are stronger together. You have put together a beautiful day. I have to be honest, it's my first wedding ceremony as a preacher, and I don't know if it's overly cliche, but we have often been told what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But you know what not this day and this moment, not this event, not your vows, your rings and your promises. You are taking these with you. You will soon be walking down the aisle as husband and wife. You know most people would say that they want to witness history. I want to thank you, Nick and Debbie, for inviting us to witness history with you. September 4th, 2022. <laughs> So now comes the sad part. Sad. Nick, or happy. <laughs> I told you to run, Nick, but go. Nick, I believe you have some words you want to exchange with Debbie. He wrote vows. He wrote vows. <laughs> it's one page. Yeah, right. All right. You have yours. I have mine. All right. Debbie. In case you didn't know, um, I'm so thankful that today I get to marry my best friend, which is you. <laughs> um, I fell in love with you for the first day I met you, and that was at um, Mount Pleasant. Party at the park. Party at the park. I promise you perfect love and perfect trust. I can't wait to spend my life, my rest of my life with you, um, and marry my best friend. You are my best friend. I love you. <laughs> but I'm not done yet. <laughs> now, it's just real quick. I love you now, and I will always love you forever. And thank you for having me. Thank you. I wrote that. Oh, wait. That wasn't wait, real? More. Debbie, I believe you have some words to exchange with Nick. Okay. 
I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock, rock and roll. roll. <laughs> um, people say today is the start of the rest of our lives. But I say that happened the minute we met. Nick Fulgencio, I love every part of you. Maybe not the stubborn part. <laughs> I love the way that you cherish me, make me feel special, and most of all, love me every day, unconditionally. In case you didn't know, Nick Fulgencio, I will love you to your last breath. I love you. Not kiss the bride yet. <laughs> Would you take each other's hands? Okay. <laughs> and repeat after me. I Nick. I Nick. Take you, Debbie. Take you, Debbie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To be my best friend. To be my best friend. My love. My love. My happiness. My happiness. My everything. My everything. I love you. I love you. No, I mean I love you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Loves you too. <laughs> I, Debbie, I, Debbie, take you, Nick, take you, Nick. To, be my to be my husband, to be my best friend, to be my, best friend. My, love. my love, my happiness, <laughs> my everything. I love you. Luke and Brandon, can you bring the rings? Almighty God, you are from eternity for eternity. You are without end as Nick and Debbie prepare for the exchanging and wearing of these rings that have no beginning and no end. Bless these rings with your loving presence, guidance and support and spirit as Nick and Debbie become husband and wife. Amen. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness with all that I am and all that I have. I honor you. That's nice. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. Beautiful. <laughs> Let us pray for Nick and Debbie and their new life together. We pray they fulfill the vows they have made this day and reflect your steadfast love and the lifelong faithfulness to each other as members with the body of Christ. Use their family and friends who love them so dearly to support Nick and Debbie in their new life together and from the great source of strength, give Nick and Debbie power, patience, affection, understanding, courage, and love toward you and towards each other. Lord, I pray that continue together in mutual love according to your will. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. I invite you to share in the Lord's Prayer today. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
butterflies now. Yeah. No. Can you pass on the butterflies? Today we want to reflect on those that cannot be here, Nick Stad, James Herndon Porter, and Rosalinda F. Porter, and Debbie's mom, Nancy Jane Potter, who are watching from heaven. Although we cannot see you, your hands we cannot touch, your smile is never forgotten, you are loved so very much. <laughs> With your presence in our hearts, today they say, I do, they proudly say their vows being watched over by you. So just to let you know, there's going to be four butterflies released, and then everybody's going to pass one out, and then there's, I'll tell you, I'll, on your market set, go, and we'll pass the other butterflies out. So wait for us. Each of you that have been given a butterfly, please hold on to your butterflies and we will all release them at the same time. If your butterfly does not fly immediately, don't worry, it eventually will. Can I tell them go? Ahead, open, your butterflies. open your butterflies. It might take a minute, so be kind. If, if they don't release right away or live, CPR is resumed. Everybody see the butterflies? It's wonderful. I hope you like butterflies. <laughs> uh, these butterflies symbolize new beginnings and rebirths. One of the butterflies' most powerful messages is that a couple is transformed when they love and are loved in return. May love always inspire you to give the best of yourselves and to each other. Friends, it is indeed my humble blessing and joy to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Fulgencio. You may now kiss the bride. couple quick pictures and we just like to like to read a group picture and uh, we'd like to invite all of you to the Venetian at 6 p.m. at the Mercado room M-E-R-C-A-D-O Mercado thank you